kind of like a kid on Christmas. Landon gave me a text last night, like nine o'clock at night. And he's like, dude, anybody tell you that your boost showed up? And I'm like, you know what, dude? Not in the mood right now. Don't pull on my heartstrings like that. The next photo he sends me is my sled sitting in a crate, tucked off into the corner on the security camera. So I'm just rolling into the shop right now. I'm gonna go and see if he's lying to me or what. But man, if this is true, I'm so excited. Today's the day, you guys. Finally, it's February 16th. I've been waiting very, very patiently, much like the rest of the uh, customers that snow check their snowmobiles. I'm gonna build myself a new boost. And uh, it's snowing this weekend, and this is amazing. This is better than Christmas. I've been very anxious to get one of these of my own, and uh, the day's finally here. So let's build this thing up. Let's throw some parts on it. Let's have some fun. boost build to uh, start it off with this Polaris Chaos 850-155 and uh, put an M7 wrap on it. I got a hold of Greg over at M7 Designs and uh, kind of gave him my idea of what I wanted. I wanted some red, wanted some white, kind of some Canada look to it, but also maybe a little bit of retro uh, Polaris. So uh, those guys nailed it out of the park on this one and I'm actually going to take this sled down and race the Jackson Hole World Hill Climbs. And uh, I figured it'd be a really cool way to represent Canada down there and have a little bit of red and white flash on the sled. Um, I call it a build, right? But really, these things are like a stock mod right out of the box. So for me, it's more of an accessories build, you know, working with the partners and the sponsors that I have to be able to, you know, create a snowmobile that works the way that I want it to uh, and just change a couple of things away from OEM to my liking. Uh, you know, the start of that with the CFR bars. Uh, as you guys seen in the last three minute Thursday, we did a small segment about bar height and bar setup. For me, I run the Turcotte Signature Series bar. It's a one inch rise, and I have that on top of 1.25 inch uh, Nux riser uh, and a T-post adapter for the top of the steering post on the Polaris. It's two and a half inches lower than the stock low bar of the Polaris, and for me, just gets me up and over the bars, gets me into a strong position on the snowmobile and allows me to be in control and it connects me to the snowmobile so I feel like I'm a part of it. So as you guys can see, I've actually wired my grips on. These are the, just the CFR uh, thin grip. And for me, I don't use any sort of glue or paint or anything underneath this grip. I try and get it on there dry. And then I just safety wire with stainless steel wire about one every inch. Uh, it actually adds some sideways traction you know, to allow your hands to get some grip into those ridges. Uh, cool little tip and trick. There is a video like that on my YouTube. I'll drop the link right now and uh, you guys can check that one out. Um, you know, moving down from the steering components, I did a 3D Logic adjustable and breakaway lever. Uh, it's something new for me this year to try. Chris was really, uh, really helpful with, with getting this to me and, and uh, we did an anodized red uh, perch on this one. and. It's really cool, like, you know, you see a lot of the over the bar scenarios and people get their wrists caught in there and there's chances of breaking fingers and, and wrists, but the, this lever actually folds away and uh, really, hopefully I don't have to try that one out, but if, it, uh, if the case happens, 
I'm expecting this lever to fold out of my way and I can uh, continue my day with, without any major injuries. As you guys can see, uh, Backwoods BMP is a big partner this year. They, uh, they built me some really sick rail braces, really stoked on the, the black finish on these rail braces, really nice and tidy. Uh, just some added strength to the to the rails on these Polaris's. You know they build them they build them light and they build them fast. But uh, that's not always the case for me. I I take some at, take and actually add some weight to my snowmobile and make it a little bit stronger. Uh, recoveries out of the backcountry with twisted up rails is just a nightmare. So um, along with that combination, we did do the slash rear bumper setup. Uh, it feels really sturdy. Uh, this sled actually never even had a stock bumper put on it uh, the sled has zero miles on it uh, so really looking forward to you know having a nice strong uh, strong bumper and tunnel setup it should be able to carry multiple sort of accessory bags on here you know with the Polaris lock and ride system uh, into the suspension setup you'll see I'm still rocking the Walker stock velocity shocks right now I actually have some Fox shocks being valved for my liking uh, they're just in the middle of transit right now. It's a crazy world out there. Stuff's not arriving when you want it to. So just patiently waiting. As you guys can see, I am actually running the vertical steering post in this snowmobile. I did develop a lay down style steering post for the axis and then it actually fits right into the matrix and it, is, it does fit a boost as well. Um, for me, I'm trying to keep this snowmobile as close to stock feel as I can for right now until I go race Jackson Hole with it and then I will do the conversion. Uh, the reason for that being if I race the stock class, I have to use 100% stock components and this just helps this sled stay relative to a stock one that anybody could buy at a dealership and uh, go and race or ride or whatever with it. So um, looking forward to getting a specialty Turcotte lay down post in not only my boost sled, but also my 146 Chaos that I'll be receiving this spring. Um, major advancements, right? So with the lay down kit, uh, it moves the post actually nearly six inches farther forward and moves your body positioning almost a foot ahead on the snowmobile and puts you into a much more neutral position on the snowmobile and just allows for uh, you know a lot more control in the air upside down doing all the flips and crazy stuff that I do so um, yeah I mean I've been patiently waiting for this snowmobile for months now much like the rest of the consumers I feel you guys' pain this was uh, I just woke up one day and it just happened to fall in my lap and uh, really thankful for the opportunity to be able to go ride this thing soon and uh, definitely anxious to see what sort of shenanigans I can get up to with it. Hey Hudson, what do you think of this sled? Sick! You think this one's sick? Yeah! What kind of tricks should we do with it? Hmm. Superman? Superman! Like this? Well, you heard from Hudson. She thinks the snowmobile's sick. I'm also very excited to get out on this one. If you guys are interested to see what this snowmobile's like out on the snow, make sure you turn on the notifications, subscribe to my channel, and uh, we're gonna have some fresh content coming soon.